Right, this is video two. I've taken off the uh, engine covers. Um, under here, I have uh, I've had the carburetors apart and given them a clean, new air filter. Um, the oil and filter the previous owner had done not that long ago. Uh, if we come round into the back, it has a much bigger uh, inspection hole, so you can see the the motor. She's pretty dry. It looks it looks more damp than what it is there. That's it's literally it looks like it, it's not gushing out oil. It's yes, it's damp with oil, but it's, it's it, it wherever we park it, it doesn't drip oil anywhere. So um, there's all the pipes. Oh, and that was uh, incidentally I missed that out in the last video. That's another heater over there. So you got one conventional one up the front in the dash. Uh, one in the back to heat up the passengers in the rear and then one in the extra one up in the roof. And I'm just going to, uh, let's just start her up. So, ah, oh, steering lock. See, there's no uh, rattles, knocks, anything. She she really does purr well. There's no smoke. Now the exhaust, the very rear section of exhaust is good. The very front section of exhaust is good, but the exhaust silencers are not long for this world. So it will need. An exhaust you can buy a stainless steel exhaust system if it was me my choice would be just to uh, manufacture something uh, anyway let me just turn her off there's the other heater oh, I can't reach she's a big beastie uh. right on the underside you have a uh, tow point at the front, these huge skids, which if you've uh, googled uh, these, you'll see that these are used for climbing up, well, basically skids for climbing up uh, banks and things. And underneath, oh, I have rebuilt these hubs, all cleaned and painted, wheel bearings all repacked with grease, uh, all re-shimmed, uh, a new uh, silicon based CV gaiters which are up in here because they are prone to going. Um, I put a new uh, diaphragm in the front diff lock. Uh, not that it actually needed it, it wasn't bad actually. The bottom water hose there has some corrosion on it uh, but not bad. I mean you could soon make something like that up, there's only a bent bit of tube. Um, and then this is the other side, all clean and painted and same again on that side. The underside, the previous owner had been treating the underside with uh, old engine oil, which I have uh, added to because we were expecting some snow. Um, and I, you know, you know what they're like with salt in the roads in this country, so um, I wanted to be able to protect it. Uh, coming around to the back, I've already shown you the tow hitch, quite a substantial thing. And around the rear, hubs are not clean and painted, but I've checked all the levels, gearbox oil, transfer box oil, uh, rear hubs, axles, um, and all were good. I think I had to top up the rear hubs, they were down ever so ever so slightly. Um, uh, I put new flexible brake hoses and that on, on the rear. This is right underneath. Okay, I think that should keep everybody happy we're looking underneath um, next video I'm going to do is actually going for a drive in us so uh, we'll see you soon